Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to join you today for this landmark event, the launch of the IMAX 10 solar power system by D-Light Nigeria. To the D-Light team, thank you for the kind invitation to share in the joy and promise of this event. Let me also apologize for not being personally present at this event. I was already scheduled to be in Lagos this morning when on Friday I got notice that I was to represent our president at an event in Nairobi, Kenya today. There are few issues more topical and relevant to the well-being of our world today than the climate change crisis. While the world has experienced several global crises throughout history, from plagues to wars to economic meltdowns, our generation is confronted with perhaps its worst crisis yet, climate change. But for developing countries, it's a twin problem, the climate crisis and a poverty crisis. And an important cause and consequence of the poverty crisis is energy poverty or lack of access to energy for millions. What does all these mean in countries such as ours with large numbers of poor and vulnerable people? A great part of whose poverty is as a result of lack of access to energy. Today, that demography uses kerosene and firewood for domestic purposes, cooking and lighting. Aside from deforestation caused by the use of firewood, indoor pollution results in hundreds of thousands of deaths annually from the use of kerosene for cooking. Fire hazards from kerosene lanterns and cook stoves are also rampant. Indeed, we are told that Sam Goldman, the co-founder of Delight, resolved with his partner, Ned Tozen, to eradicate domestic kerosene use and produce and distribute solar lanterns when, while living in a West African village, his neighbor's son was badly burned in a kerosene accident. It is evident then that all our ingenuity, our creativity, and compassion will be needed to resolve these existential crises of our times. As we cannot plan for zero emissions by whatever target date without a realistic plan for energy access for billions of the poor and vulnerable, so it is that we cannot plan effectively for energy access without linking it with an effective emissions reduction plan. If energy access issues are left unaddressed, we will continue to see growing energy demand being addressed with high polluting and deforesting fuels. In addressing this issue, the federal government of Nigeria developed a robust renewable energy program. It is called the Nigeria Electrification Project, a World Bank and Africa Development Bank funded program implemented by the Rural Electrification Agency. This has been the federal government's flagship vehicle for promoting energy access using off-grid decentralized renewable energy solutions. The Nigeria Electrification Project aims to deploy off-grid renewable energy systems, including solar home systems, in sparsely populated rural locations and solar hybrid mini-grids in densely populated, unserved or underserved locations with economic activities, and solar hybrid captive power plants for federal universities and affiliated teaching hospitals. Since its inception in 2018, the project has impact impacted the lives of over 3.7 million Nigerians through the 65 mini-grids and 770,000 solar home systems, representing an aggregate of about 30 megawatts of off-grid renewable energy systems that have so far been deployed. The solar home systems component of the Nigeria Electrification Project is the best performing by all indicators. Solar home systems are quick and easy to deploy and are effective for electrifying individual users especially those that are resident in sparsely populated locations far from the reach of the national grid. These small and modular systems help in no small way in resolving the twin problems of energy poverty and emissions 
as they provide energy access using clean, renewable technologies. It is really the aggregation of little interventions like this that will create effective solutions to the complex dilemmas that we face. And this explains why D-Light systems and their programs represent important components in the fight against climate change and the race to achieve energy access for millions safely and with zero carbon emissions. It's interesting, of course, to know that of the 770,000 solar home systems deployed under the Nigeria Electrification Project, D-Light systems represent over 74,000 of them and has impacted over 350,000 Nigerians in unserved and underserved rural locations. Lack of en access to energy is a base of the pyramid problem and requires social enterprises like D-Light, who are committed to not just turning a profit, but making a tangible impact on the quality of lives of their vulnerable customers. From Nigeria to Kenya to, Maya, to uh, Myanmar and India, D-Light is making outstanding impact. Having contributed to improving the lives and livelihoods of well over 100 million people, I think the D-Light team should be very proud indeed. From what I gather, D-Light's extensive impact stems from the fact that it, is not only, it not only provides technology solutions in the delivery of its products and services, but also addresses the affordability issues that its bottom of the pyramid customers in the developing world face. This is especially very critical at this time because transitioning to clean and renewable sources of energy comes at a cost that may be too much to bear for poor rural dwellers. I actually took, looked up the range of D-Light products available on sale and I looked this up online. And there's an impressive range including solar portable inverter generators, solar-powered electric cookers, solar-powered standing fans, and mobile, charge, uh, mobile charging solar lanterns. And the prices, as, uh, uh, as, as we thought, are clearly very affordable. So I commend D-Light once again for its passion and commitment to closing the energy gap in Nigeria, one customer at a time. And I encourage the team to keep developing the technology the products and business models that contribute to achieving this national and global goal. The world is greatly enriched and humankind is ennobled by your brand of altruistic entrepreneurship. I believe that a fair, inclusive and equitable energy transition is possible and within reach. But we must all play our part respectively as governments, as development practitioners, as social entrepreneurs, as impact businesses, financiers, and even as environmentally conscious and responsive consumers to actualize it. Thank you very much. God bless you.